Hey, correct, correct people. How una day? Welcome back to Tessis TV. We don't carry another better a broko con given about waiting the soft for palace. As we heard that uh, on the women, Akire women precisely has Tom Akire to tear Olori Miriam and Ronke to pieces since they are the one making Queen Naomi's marriage with Kabiesi very very uncomfortable for her since they are the one that has vowed that mommy Tzedenika will stay in the palace will not last long so when they heard what Miriam has been boasting of in the palace that over her by body will mommy Tzedenika will enjoy her marriage with Kabiesi that over her by body with will when Naomi stay in the royal manor they shouted so when Naomi has been passing through a lot and we are here doing nothing. And we heard that the Akira women, that's Ondo women, they went in for emergency meeting. After a, the emergency meeting by correct people, we heard that they gathered in their numbers and stormed uh, Ileife mansion, that is Kabiesi's palace to destroy Olori, Mariam, and Gronke, to tear them to pieces because we heard that these Ondo women, they are not happy at all at all. Yes, they are not happy that the, these two Mamalawos, like we normally call them, because that is what they are. Waiting Gronke, they still do for palace. Gronke was senior Kabiesi with almost 10 years. Yes, Ronke is up to, if not late 50s, she will be heading to 60 something. Yes. Yes, we all know that. Even the Abalaba there that is in the palace, that is Miriam. She's 50 something. Yes, she's senior Kabiesi. Upon she come adult, talk, the talk say she knows senior Kabiesi, that she has a matured body, she has a matured face, and people are now seeing her as if she's senior Kabiesi. It is all lies, my correct people. People will know Miriam well, talk say Miriam senior Kabiesi, well, well. So they came into the palace to make life unbearable for Kabiesi and for Naomi. They came into the palace to make Queen Naomi's marriage with Kabiesi not to work. Yes, that is what they came to the palace to do. Because as we all know, both of them have passed the, the age of giving birth. So you will not say they come into the palace to, to start multiplying for Kabiesi. No, now. They have passed the age. So what they come to the palace to do is to fight and destroy Mommy Tedenikao and the Queen Naomi's marriage because they have their previous marriages where they have their children we heard that before Olori Miriam was married to Baba Nasiru Ronke was married to her ex-husband and they had children with those men so why did you all leave your children to come into the palace and start dragging Queen Naomi's position with her which we are seeing today that they are competing. They want to be the Yeluwa of the source. They want to be the queen. Kabiesi, please give us our own title. We can't just watch Queen Naomi taking over everything for us. So when Queen Naomi returned, we heard that Miriam vowed that over her by body, will Queen Naomi enjoy her marriage with Kabiesi. So upon all the battle, when she done already, they fight it say, spiritually and physically before Queen Naomi enter palace. Say so she they win every battle, gong gong. Nobody they reach her. Is it Queen Naomi of yesterday? Why well, go just sweep, come on for palace? Now what did she talk? That she go sweep, mommy said, then a come on for palace. Say so Queen Naomi no reach. That if she goes spiritual for mommy today, Nika will say, Mommy today, Nika will she go back at things and run kitty kitty, run kata kata, come up for palace. She can't the boast. Not knowing that God is over everything. Yes, God is above all. All the boasting, where is the boast? What if you sleep and you did not wake up again? Do you hold your life? Do you know what will happen tomorrow? But you are here boasting for a child of yesterday, Mommy Tedeni Kao, that you are going to deal with her, that you are going to scatter her marriage, that you make sure that she did not enter palace again. My correct people, nobody today where Miriam and Ronke start to. 
not be today where both of them start to the talk anyhow for palace and we thought that Kabiesi will, you know, punish them severely. But they are roaming around the palace freely. Kabiesi is not doing anything about it. Another one where the paper was for body. That's by now everybody thought that Kabiesi would have sent Miriam out of the palace, sent Ronke out of the palace, but uh, they're enjoying their liberty. And it is Queen Naomi that they are frustrating. So now, where on those women, they don't hear what's in the shop. They can't talk, say shy. So now this thing where Queen Naomi, they see. So Queen Naomi, they try, but they cannot sit down and wait and, and be watching their daughter be suffering like that. They don't feel sit down. And watch Queen Naomi, the Olobis go, they talk to her anyhow. They cannot address her as the queen. They cannot bow for her. Say, you know, go happen. No. My correct people, before we know it, as we they hear, they don't enter motto. They don't hire motto. Enter motto. Straight down to Elefe Palace to go and fight the Oloris. We heard that they came in in their numbers to tear Miriam and Ronke to pieces. Because as it is now, it is only Miriam and Ronke where they for Palace the middle day as we heard her return back to where she based. Immediately they came into the palace. Kabi is citing the nurse says something is wrong. This one where women gather in their numbers. Land, no dead level. It'd be like say the don't come to destroy the palace. So it be like say something is wrong. That is what Kabi was thinking before they started demanding that Kabi should bring Miriam and Ronke out. That they want to deal with them. They want to show them Shege Banza. And immediately they started demanding for for Miriam and Ronke to tell you that these people are snake -o. Hey, my correct people, no be smudges. We heard that Miriam and Ronke, they used through their back door because they don't already see what's in the stop and they don't say they don't feel escape from the gate of the palace. As they don't see what's in the they shout. Now, so Miriam and Ronke used through their back door and pick up to their heels. They run. Yes, they took to their heels immediately. They run, and we heard they went and hide. Now, so Kabi is going to come Akure women down. Let them take a music. Say them go settle whatever it is that is going on. And we heard that all the women insisted that Kabi is must caution his wives. That none of them should ever insult Mommy Tedini Kawa again or talk down on her. Or else... They will have them to contend with. My correct, correct people will be small cheese. So this one, it took well, well, as people are very, very happy that Ondo women has come out to fight for mommy Tedini Kawa. I mean, my correct people, make a true. I drop your comments for this matter. Drop your opinions. Drop your suggestions. And don't forget to click on your notification bell to always get updates from us about what's in the sub. And for my returning subscribers, I can never cease to appreciate all of you. You guys are the real MVPs. Thank you for always coming back.